I thought when I was starting my book that I was writing a book about drug traffickers and drug trafficking, and really what it became was a book about America and who we'd become. Um, we became, particularly I would say after the cold, end of the Cold War, 90s and so on, a country um, that loved to, um, that, 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 that loved to uh, uh, kind of exalt the private, the private sector. We became a country where, where people were applauded for, for, um, for making lots of money, even though maybe the way they made their money didn't do much for the community. We, we, we kind of savaged government. We exalted the private sector. The pri and, and we became a country that really, above all, wanted comfort, convenience, and a lack of pain. And you could see this in a lot of, lot of ways, I think. Um, we have, we have uh, uh, padded playgrounds because God forbid our kids skin their knees, right? We have um, uh, uh, you know, uh, trophies for everybody because God forbid somebody should feel left out. Uh, we don't want our kids to feel pain. Now they're asking for, in college, they're asking for trigger warnings uh, so that the, 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 when the professor is gonna deal with an issue that might be painful, uh, so we go from protection of physical pain, from physical pain to protection uh, from emotional pain. And doctors, I believe, were seeing this, very, uh, particularly in the 1990s. P patients would come to them and say, you know, doc, I, I, I just can't have any pain. People began to believe that we really could not suffer any pain at all. And so that's when we began to not just uh, uh, prescribe these pills for, for some kind of uh, 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 ailment, but prescribe massive doses on would